1,900 years ago, a huge pit was discovered on a remote island in the southern sea of Beluska. With a diameter of around a thousand meters, its depth remains unknown. To this day, no one has ever seen the bottom of the Great Pit. In a world where nearly everything has been uncovered and explored, it is the sole remaining unconquered castle. The Great Pit has a captivating power that sometimes takes hold of a person and refuses to let go. Valuable and dangerous primeval creatures, mysterious relics beyond comprehension, a city of gold set to rest in the far reaches of the Netherworld. For the past 1,900 years, all of these things and more have been luring people to venture into its depths. With a spirit of adventure for the unknown and countless legends luring them on, the Abyss has swallowed up enough lives to be worthy of its name. The peculiar force field in the Abyss prevents its observation from above ground. Therefore, surveying is carried out in person. The surveyors, each chasing the dream of striking it rich, would deliver their reports to the surface from deep inside the Abyss by launching mail balloons. Those who challenged the giant pit began to be referred to as cave raiders. Right around the time that name stuck, their bases on the surface grew so large they surrounded the entire circumference of the pit. The city they eventually formed in time became Orth, the place people call home. Call yourself a legendary cave raider when you're just a red whistle. Huh? Are you sure about that? All the white whistles started as red whistles. So why would it be weird for me to be a legendary cave raider? White whistles are admirable. I mean, they're the heroes of the country. But admiring them isn't exactly the same as wanting to be one. too much for me but you want to be a white whistle right yep from the moment i made a white whistle i'll go all out and make a ton of legends um for today's cave rating we get to go deeper right and then deeper in the next one i keep on doing that it's just a matter of time before i become a white whistle a matter of time Setting that white whistle stuff aside, I just want to hurry up and become a blue whistle. Then my goal is to become a moon whistle. Uh-huh. When you're a moon whistle, you are, of course, going to aim to become a black whistle, right? Well, most likely, I won't try to become a black whistle. What? But if you don't become a black whistle, you can't become a white whistle, the highest rank! It's okay. Rather than be a black whistle, I have something else I want to do. Something you want to do? Hey, you three. Are you guys even listening? <laughs> well, were you listening? Uh, of course. I was really listening. Oh, then in that case, come over here, Rico. <laughs> If you were really listening to me, you should be able to answer my question. Yes! 
Well then, answer me. Why is it that cave raiders who venture in the abyss never return home? B because on the return trip, they get affected by the curse of the abyss. That is correct. We were reviewing the curse of the abyss. This time, listen up. As long as we are human, there is no way to escape the curse of the abyss. During the return trip from the abyss, a cave raider experiences intense afflictions to their body. These are called strains. This mysterious phenomenon of unknown origin is also called the curse of the abyss. The strains become more and more severe the deeper down you go. Strains encountered while ascending from the depth's first layer to the surface are mild dizziness and nausea. From the second layer to the first layer are intense nausea, headaches, and numbness of the extremities. From the third layer, in addition to the other effects, complications include losing your sense of balance as well as visual and auditory hallucinations. From the fourth layer, intense pain throughout the body and bleeding from every orifice. From the fifth layer, the loss of all senses, resulting in confusion and self-harm. Returning from the sixth layer means the loss of your humanity, or even death. The strain of ascending from the seventh layer is certain death. But don't worry. You guys, the red whistles, will descend up to 400 meters. In other words, you'll still be within the depths of the first layer. The strains you'll feel are mild dizziness and nausea. You won't feel much after you acclimate to them. All right. Regarding our upcoming cave raiding, I've divided the area up and assigned everyone a spot. You're unlikely to face much danger from primeval creatures and falling, but just in case, don't forget to pack your whistles and smoke screens. That's all. Any questions? Very well. I have something to say to... <coughs> There's just one thing I want to say. Those with whistles shouldn't think they're going out there simply to learn. Be mindful that you are students of the guild's orphanage. Strive to earn as much as you can. Do not shame your parents, who fell so nobly. Oh, there is one more thing. That makes two things. That makes two things. That's two things. Helping yourself to relics is strictly forbidden. Relics provide valuable income to the orphanage. So pocketing them is inexcusable. No matter the punishment, I don't want to hear any complaints. He knows it was me! Was it the Star Compass? The Steel Umbrella? Or the Sun Sphere? Next time, the culprit will suffer more than simply being strong naked. Keep that in mind. Oh, she doesn't know! <sighs> hmm... I will personally go over each of your goals this mission. Whenever you are ready, come see me to hear your mission. Alright, today you will be cave raiding solo at about the same spot as last time, from 150 meters. Leader. Yes, Rico? What is it? Uh, uh, please assign me someplace deeper! Please! <sighs> That's a brazen request. 
Tell me, why exactly does one go cave raiding? Oh, um, because there's a pit up there? No, it's because it's your job. This kind of thing is why you're still wetting the bed. To begin with, if you were to go down 400 meters with your current level of experience, simply heading back up again would be all you could handle. You're used to the spot I've assigned you. That should allow you to cave raid more efficiently. Am I wrong? Well, I want to quickly build up experience at deeper depths to become a white whistle as soon as I can. And then I want to catch up to my mother. I'll descend down as far as she did, and then... Not this time. But, all right. Let's see just how determined you are. If your hole at tomorrow's cave raid is assessed to be the most valuable among all the red whistles, then I'll consider it for next time. Understood. Well then, investigate the assigned area and bring back ten relics. like we still won't be cave raiding on our own yet. Somewhere around 130 meters? I wonder where I start. Around the ruins of the windmill, I think about 200 meters deep. Have I made myself clear? Helping yourself to relics is strictly forbidden. Next time, the culprit will suffer more. Y yes! What is it? Hurry. Rating. Lucky. You'll get bigger and bigger, Kiwi. Soon you'll be able to go cave raiding. For now, please watch our home. Okay.
Heavy. Uh, it's super heavy. Oh, yeah. I'll get Nat to help. Hey, Nat! 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 Where are you? Hey, if you're there, then say something! What's it doing up this far in the abyss? It moves just fine.
petrified trees are melted. I wonder what that light was. Maybe it was all in my head, but I feel like whatever drove that snake away was answering my plea for help. Maybe it was even my own personal knight in shining armor or something. I have to find out what it was. I'm gonna look a little bit further. I have to see it with my own eyes. I don't remember there being a kid who looked like this in the Red Whistles. Uh, hello there! Huh? 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 Away! Oh, He's not breathing! I have to hurry and resuscitate him! Huh? He feels... Uh, he, he's... not human! Uh, machine? Go. What fuel does he run on? Will food work? I mean, he's built like a human after all. Hmm? But still, where did... he come from? <sighs> I was somewhat able to bring him here, but I can't go any farther. Hey, Rico! Are you okay, Rico? Did that big snake thing come over this way? Mad. Good. I'm glad you're okay. What the heck happened to you? Were you attacked? Uh-huh. But that snake fled down the cliff. I think we're safe now. Okay, that stupid thing trashed almost all the relics that I collected. But I guess maybe that's what saved me from being eaten. Mad. So he absolutely doesn't remember that I saved him. By the way, Rico, what is this? Did you kill him? No. I found him passed out and carried him here, but... It seems he isn't human. What? What? Really? Hey, Nat, let's take him back together. Help me. What? That's such a troublesome thing to do. First of all, th this kid, who in the world is he? Well, it 
it's kind of a long story. So he is a robot or a relic or something? It's really hard to believe, but he isn't normal for sure. Even though it's you talking, he really is right here in front of us. Why do you always doubt my words? Taking him home means it's a secret from leader, right? Of course. If he is a relic, you would be stealing again, you know. Mm. Wait a minute, Rico. Let me think about it. <sighs> I gave it some thought. I know you won't stop even if I told you. So in that case, I will help you. But do you think it's okay to move him already? I have to pee. Can you wait here? Uh, uh, seriously? Just do what you have to do somewhere else. I'll be here watching him. <laughs> Why'd I tell him I had to pee? I should have said I was going to see if I missed anything. I can't believe I just said that to a boy. I should take off my wet pants while she's gone. I gave it some thought. I know you won't stop even if I told you. So in that case, I will help you. But do you think it's okay to move him already? Yeah, let's carry him. Bring him to my room without anyone noticing. I'll hold his hands so... Uh, Nat, can you get his legs? All right. First, let's do some research on this robot boy. Looks like you made it back safe. How did the cave rating go? Um... Yes, Rico? What is it? How did the cave rating go, Rico? About that, I have something to discuss with you, Shigi. Discuss? Wonder what troublesome thing it is this time. How did the cave rating go? About that, I... Welcome back, Rico. I have something I want you to help with later, too, Kiwi. Okay. Rico, what are you gonna do with that robot? First, I'll do some research. After that, let's show Shiggy and think of what to do to get... I made myself clear. Next time... Y yes!
maybe he moved a little. Really? Is someone there? Maybe we should try turning the power up a little bit? Children's voices? Whatever. I think I'll sleep a bit longer. Rico, set the dial to two. On it! Rico, I think it's actually on 20. What? He woke up! See? I told you electricity would do the trick! Seriously? I'm surprised he's alive. <coughs> Are you okay? What? What's going on? Hey, hey, robot boy! Recognize me? You saved me! My name is Rico. You can call me Big Sis if you want. So, what's your name? Tell me, robot boy! Uh, I feel bad about replying to a question with a question, but there's something I'd like to ask you. He spoke? How cute! What? What? Ask whatever you want! Where is this place? Here? This is my room. Sinister implements. And that pain just now. Do you guys work as torturers? Huh? Well, Rico's room is actually an old torture chamber. She was always getting in trouble, so she got moved here. Anyway, we all work as cave raiders. Why don't you tell us about yourself now? What's your name? What kind of stuff can you do? Oh, and who made you? It's been bothering me from the start, but am I really a robot? You bet you are. Electricity made you move? You totally withstood fire, and you didn't even get a single scratch on you. Ugh. Wait a minute. You don't even remember that you're a robot? Maybe that jolt of electricity we gave him messed with his memory. Uh, oh, no. Hey, Rico. What did you do now? All the lights in the orphanage are out. What? I think we overdid it by going full throttle earlier. Hey, Rico, do your best to fool him somehow. Me? I, I can't. We're going to escape out the window. Let's go, Shiggy. Do you... Okay. Okay, robot boy. Don't come out of there, got it? Something horrible's bound to happen if you do! Huh? Worse than that pain earlier? Hey, Rico! Open up! Uh, okay! I'm... So? What the heck did you do this time? Uh, nothing much, really. at a bad angle, too. <sighs> Let me look at your room. Oh, it hurts really bad. I hit it in the wall. Just show me inside your room. What? <laughs> Doesn't seem like anything is wrong. Robot boy is gone? Hey, do you have anything to say for yourself? S sorry, I... Look. I get that you're frustrated since your cave rating didn't go very well. That said, there's simply no sense in causing a blackout at the orphan. I think I'll have you clean the orphanage. And write both an apology and an essay about what you did wrong. Come on now. <laughs> Are they gone? I get it now. If he was to find me here, there'd be trouble. I instinctively stretched my arm and hid in the attic to dodge the situation, but I can't believe my arm extends like that. What am I? Is what the girl said earlier true? Am I a robot? <sighs> I finally finished the essay, and... Good job, me! I broke the record for finishing fast! Now gotta hurry back and do something about Robot Boy! If you do something again, I'll make you write five essays. Understood?
job, Rico. Leader still has no idea about that robot. I have never heard about a relic that's like that robot. Rico, are you okay? Hey! Hey, Robot Boy! You still don't remember your name? Yeah. I searched all over my body, but couldn't find anything like a name. It's inconvenient to not have a name, so can I name you? How about Reg? Reg? Do you like it? Yeah. If I had to say yes or no, then yeah, I do. Then, you are Reg from now on. Sure, call me Reg. Where did the name come from? That's the name of a dog I used to have. D a dog? Irredeemable. So, what are we gonna do now? This guy, I mean Reg, is a relic, right? How long are you gonna hide him? Forever! I'll keep him hidden in my room! That should work, right? Highly unlikely. They found out about the dog you had. Being treated like a dog, as I expected. Now everybody, may I have a moment, please? There's something about him I'd like to discuss with- I did some thorough research through the compilation of recorded relics. Recorded relics? It's got all the major relics that have been unearthed. It's basically an illustrated field guide. Relics have grades to them. They are recorded and sorted by their values. Okay, I get it now. Grade 4 relics are regarded as insignificant, or are of uncertain use. Also, they are incapable of replacing existing tools. Grade 3 relics are extremely valuable and useful. They can help with cave raiding. Grade 2 relics introduce entirely new concepts and can change people's way of life. In addition, they are very useful when cave raiding. And grade one relics? These are the ones that can change the balance of power between countries. Objects that are extremely useful when cave raiding in the deeper levels. And then, the most amazing of all, special grade relics. Special grade relics have the potential to grant the power to change many countries. Or the world. <sighs> That is correct. This is the case in the latest style of sorting. Hey, Reg! The special great relic, the Unheard Bell, was discovered by my mom! Rico's mom was the legendary White Whistle called Liza the Annihilator. What a scary name. Wonder what she did. My mom is who I aspire to be! Shiggy, let's go back to Reg. It'll take forever if Rico starts that- Oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, Rico. So, I searched everywhere, but even looking through all the grade 2, grade 1, and special grade relic, I didn't see any relics like Reg. Reg's features are not listed on the relic record. And supposing they were, they'd be classified above even grade 1. His body seems to be a bundle of special grade relics. He might even be one of the most valuable finds in the history of the Abyss. A so-called Obod. A supreme treasure of the netherworld. That's super! Not even my mother ever found one of those! That means... we helped ourselves to a supreme treasure of the netherworld. Uh... what if we just announce our find now? Most likely, they'll take him from us immediately and conceal his existence as a supreme treasure of the netherworld. They'll probably even dismantle him piece by piece. Really? <sighs> We're in a really bad situation. What shall we do? Hmm... Let's just have Leader meet Reg as a human. Seriously, Shiggy? Ugh, oh, will this plan work that smoothly? Turns out my worries were unfounded. The Leader, Jitawo, was suspicious, but in the end accepted me. And thus, I became a student at Beltaro Orphanage and set my sights on becoming a cave raider. <laughs> Remember when the measuring stick broke while we tried to probe him? Is that stick still inside him? I was able to get it out later. 
But anyway, Reg is amazing. He doesn't get affected by the strains at all. He has crazy potential as a cave raider. I want to hurry and go cave raiding. What happened, Rico? Hmm? It's you. Great timing. There's something I want to ask you to do. Take as much time as you need. In exchange...
You're back. It seems that you have completed the mission. Let me get you the reward. Before I knew it, two months had passed. It was surprising how easily I became accustomed to it all. Ah, there you are, Reg. We're gonna go to the Grand Pier together. I don't mind, but why are we going? You'll know when you get there. So this is the Grand Pier. I suppose it's a fine mechanical bridge pier. But it sure looks skinny and unstable, stretched out above this huge pit. There are so many people gathered around here. Obviously. I mean, Uncle Habo's squad just got back. It's their triumphant return. Uncle Habo? The man who lives with Auntie. Ah, from the spice shop. He must be Laffy's husband. Habo and his team went all the way to the inverted forest. I'm going to ask him just how upside down it really is. Oh, it's Uncle Hobo! Uncle Hobo! Oh, Rico! I just got back. Hey, Uncle Hobo! Did you bring any amazing relics back? I sure did. Though it's not really a relic. Rico, it has something to do with you. Huh? With me? Yes. Look at this. <gasps> This is... It is. A white whistle of the Sovereign of Annihilation. What? It's Liza's. Liza the Annihilator's white whistle. Liza? That's... Yes. My mom's name. After ten years, Liza's soul, her white whistle, came up to the city of Orth. Mom's white whistle... Really okay for me to keep this? Yes, of course. Even if I'm just a red whistle? That's all right. Unlike other whistles, white whistles can only be used by their original owners. Not only does each white whistle have its own unique design, they're all made out of relics. And thanks to the hidden insignia each of them possess, it's impossible to counterfeit. Um... That's not really what I meant. Isn't there someone more worthy of it than me? Like a former member of my mother's squad or something. Don't be shy. It's customary for a relative to be the one to receive a white whistle like this. Everyone's fine with the tradition. If that's too heavy a responsibility to bear, you can always trust it to the guild. <sighs> Rico. I... I'll take it. Ah, that's a good decision. Besides that, Liza was also carrying a sealed envelope. A sealed envelope? Yes. We received both it and that white whistle from a sentry at a monitoring base called Seeker Camp. Since the envelope belonged to a white whistle, it's currently being closely examined, but you should be able to see it soon. A sealed envelope from my mom. Are you saying it's a letter? <laughs> I see. I suppose it is. It's surely a letter addressed to you, Rico. See you later. I'll contact you when you're able to see the sealed envelope. <sighs> Mom. There you are, Rico. Leader is looking for you. Uh, Rig. Are you okay? You look a little down. Oh, well... I was thinking about my mom a little. Hey, 
remember when I said I admire my mom? I was two years old when my mom went on her last dive. Last dive? When a white whistle goes down to the sixth layer, if they do, they can never come back. Wow. So, that's why I barely remember anything about her. Is there anyone around that knew Liza well? I heard that Leader was Mom's apprentice. Leader? If so, that's perfect. Why don't you take this opportunity to ask about Liza, since he's looking for you? Yeah, let's do it. If you want to hear stories about Liza... There you are, Rico. Hey, leader? What is it? What kind of person was my mother? Despite being one of the White Whistles I admire so much, I can't even remember her face. But I feel like someone I aspire to be just suddenly disappeared. As a cave raider, she was every bit the legendary White Whistle people say she was. That said, I hardly even got the chance to go cave raiding with her. I only really know Liza as she was on the surface, arrogant and mischievous. She was a heavy drinker and quick to get in fights. She would take her pranks too far, and you could never tell how honest she was being. On top of that, she had a horribly unbalanced diet. If she wasn't a white whistle, she would have just been another weirdo. Uh, sounds like an irredeemable person. Yeah, that is exactly right. Really, she was a total mess. It's been 12 years already. No, it was a bit longer than that, actually. Liza had just become pregnant with you. But despite her physical state, she had to go down to the fourth layer with a survey team. Huh? But what? It was a special mission ordered by the country's powers that be. As a white whistle, she had no choice. She was to retrieve the unheard bell, a special grade relic that had been discovered in the depths. Her team's cave raiding proved arduous. It went on for 10 months. They had repeated run-ins with foreign cave raiders. The survey team was nearly wiped out. It was at this time your father, a black whistle named Torka, lost his life. And in the midst of it all, you were born. Huh? Then Rico was born inside the abyss? Yeah. You were born in the depths of the abyss. What? How was I able to come back up from such a deep place? You can thank the curse-repelling vessel that Liza took along with her for that. But to bring you back with the vessel, Liza gave up on the unheard bell. Now, don't make the mistake of thinking she was only doing what any mother would do. You see, special grade relics can change the balance between countries. Retrieving even one will enrich the city and ensure a squad's future. She was faced with having to make an incredibly difficult decision. And yet, Liza chose you prestige and riches, her comrades and their trust. You were so important to her that she was willing to give up all of that. Mom. But now, in the face of the pressure of having a mother of such stature, you're trying to choose your own path. And thus, the one she risked her life to protect is still going strong to this day. Uh, leader, I'm gonna do my best! Chasing after Mom, after Liza, the what? I received a message from the Cave Raider headquarters. They've given you permission to go view the contents of the envelope from Liza. Go re Cave Raider headquarters. Got it! Reg, go with her. She's unreliable, so watch her for me. Roger. Rico has the motivation. I mean, she still wets the bed. Rico has the motivation. I mean, she still wets the bed. Where is the Cave Raider headquarters located? I am curious about what is written in Liza's envelope. I've been waiting for you. Now, I'll open the sealed envelope from Liza the Annihilator. I will accompany you. But please, do not touch anything. What is all this? 
Mother went down there ten years ago, yet none of these are in the field guide. I've never even seen any of them before. This is... That looks like me. Yeah, but some parts are different here and there. Human-like silhouette. Identity unknown. I encountered it while approaching the seventh layer. For a little while now, it has been intently observing me. Damn idiot. I'm watching you too, you know. It's about the size of a human child and looks to be dressed in rags. Its limbs and head seem too large for its body. Some kind of armor, perhaps? It didn't give off the impression of being a hollow. However, when I tried calling to it, it ran away. It went up, jumping with a strength that astonished me. To leap so effortlessly at this depth, maybe it's not human? More importantly, where did it come from? <sighs> Rig. Rico. Beside it, there's a piece of paper with only writing on it. It seems kind of short for a letter. Hmm. Let's see here. At the Netherworld's... At the Netherworld's bottom, I'll be waiting. So what made you steal this note that says, At the Netherworld's bottom, I'll be waiting. Well, cause my mother wrote that letter to me. So it's mine! Well then, what are you planning to do, Rico? I'll head for the bottom of the abyss, where my mom is waiting. Hey now, are you serious? Yes. That's why I want your help. I'm against it. The bottom of the abyss? You talk about it like it's no big deal. But if you go there, you'll never be able to come back. What's this all of a sudden? I've always wanted to be a white whistle. Of course I'm prepared for that. No, you don't get it, Rico. You'll never be able to see any of us up here ever again, you know? That's right. You won't be able to hang out at Auntie's, have Leader teach you stuff, or play with any of us here again. That's right. Like I said... <laughs> like I said... I know that, okay? <sighs> hey, Nat. Looks like Rico has already made her decision. Pushing her would just hurt her. Mm. Fine. Whatever. But Rico, are you taking Reg with you? You're probably thinking it will be okay because you got Reg, huh? I didn't ask him to come with me at all. What? I thought it'd be wrong to hug Reg all to myself. Besides, it's really dangerous for him to go when he still doesn't have his memories. Then you were planning to leave Reg... I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. Hurry up and go see how he feels about... <laughs> I'm against you going, okay? I mean, you're a red whistle and still only 12 years old. But you're already set up. What is it? Maybe... Does that mean I really am a robot? In that case, that humanoid silhouette from the letter was me before I lost my memory? Why was I created? Shiggy mentioned something about an obod. So am I just a relic then? I want to know. I want to know what I really am. I really enjoy living here. 
and it'd be hard to leave everyone behind, but I want to confirm what I am. Really? Is that how you really feel? Yes. There the answer lies at the bottom of the netherworld. Just maybe the reason I was created. All of that could be answered if I can get to the bottom of the abyss. I believe. That's why I want to aim for the bottom of the abyss. That's why I'll follow you, even if you turn me down. I wouldn't do that. Even though I want to see my mother, I couldn't bring myself to ask you. I already knew how you felt. I'll protect you all the way to the bottom of the netherworld. Of course. I think we are set. Yep. Look, Rico, sorry to burst your bubble, but let me still say this. Are you really going to go see your mother? Yes, I am. Mom said she's waiting at the bottom of the netherworld. Do you really think anyone could live somewhere like that for ten years? What? What are... Think about it. Why did her whistle make its way up here? Your mom died a long time ago. That's not true. It could be. Even if... What you say, I'm still going. I must confirm it with my own eyes. That's what a cave raider does. Oh. Yeah, you're right. You have to see it with your own eyes. <laughs> Fine. I don't care anymore. Just do whatever you guys want to do. Mad. I was going to do everything I could to stop you if you went by yourself, Reg. Take care of Rico. Yes. Roger. Well then, when are you thinking of setting off? I'm gonna wait for daybreak and then dive into the abyss! In that case, going down from the wharf quarter in the slums might be good. You should guide them, Nat. Why me? Well, you know a lot about the wharf quarter. <sighs> Fine. I will guide you guys. There's a perfect place to go down to the abyss. I'll show you. <laughs> Come back again! So, this is where we go down from. Looks like it'll be fine if you stretch your arm, Reg. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Got it. In that case, I'll get ready to go down the... Do you have a planned route through the abyss? Currently, I'm thinking our goal is Seeker Camp, near the end of the second layer. I'm planning to ask the sentry there where they found Mom's sealed envelope. Then you're aiming for the second layer. The Forest of Temptation. If a red whistle descends that far, no help will be sent after them. Both heading there and returning home becomes very difficult. It's treated as a suicide. Hey, isn't there other stuff we need to talk about? Matt? Uh, Riku... It... Matt... It's alright. Even if we ever get to see each other again... We'll be connected by the abyss! Be it on the surface, or 
we're in the far reaches of the cursed netherworld. We're connected by the abyss. I'll never forget about the time I spent up here, so it'll be okay. <laughs> there you go again. Yes, there she goes. That's right. I am at it again. Be careful, all right? And it's fine if you decide to head right on back here. I'm counting on you to take care of Riku. Roger. You guys take care. Thanks, you two. Well then, here we go! Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm, I'm ready. Oh. I'm on it. I just sensed something. I just sensed something. I just sensed something. Hey Rico, are you- Oh. Of course I'm ready! Oh. I'm on it. I just sensed something. Just sensed something. I'm on. Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready. I just sensed something. Are you ready to go? Of course oh. I'm ready! I'll drive that thing away! Please! I'm on it. I'm on it. I just sensed something. I'm on it. Oh. Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! I'll drive that thing away. Yeah. 
I'm on it. I just sensed something. I'll drive that thing away. <laughs> Rico! <laughs> Rico! I can keep going. Oh. I just sensed something. I'm on it. I just sensed something. Oh. Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah. Oh. I just sensed something. Are you ready to go? <laughs> of course I'm ready! Oh. I just sensed something. I'm on it. What do we do? Do we fight it here? Oh. I'm on. Oh. I just sensed something. I'm on it. I'll drive that thing away. I'm on it. Oh. I'm on it. I just sensed something. Yeah. Let hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready.
just sense I'm on oh what do we do do we fight it here Bingo! I'm on I'll drive that thing away oh I just sense something. Just sense something. Hey, Rico. What happened, Rico? Whoa. That's way brighter here than up on the surface, huh? Amazing! <gasps> Over there! The rock arc! Located at a depth of 600 meters! It's so far above us! So, due to the distortion in the force field, we can't see the surface, huh? Hmm? That boundary looks awfully bright. Is that distortion carrying the light downward? How terrific, Reg! At this pace, we can make it to the bottom of the netherworld! Of course, we can't let our guard down, you know. We might even make it to the second layer before anyone comes after us! W well that's good to hear. <laughs> Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah. Oh. I just sensed something. Oh. I just sensed something. I just sensed something.
one. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Just sense something. I just sense something. Oh, I just sense something. Do we 
Just sense something. What do we do? Do we fight it here? Okay. I'm on. Oh. Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready. Got through. No, everything is okay. Oh, I just sensed something. I, 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 I. What do we do? Do we fight it? I, I. Just sense something. Oh. Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready. Huh. I just sense something. I'll drive that thing away. What do we do? Do we fight it here? I'm on. I just sensed something. I'm on. Just sense something. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got through. No, everything is okay. I just sensed something. Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! I just sensed something. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! Huh. Hey, Rico. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Huh. I just sensed something. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Yeah, we got through. No, everything I'm on. is okay! got through. No, everything is okay. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready!
Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Just sense something. Just sense something. Just sense something. <gasps> Just sense something.
just sensed something. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Go. Yeah, let's do it, Rico. Yeah! Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Yeah, let's do it, Rico. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Just sense something. Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready. Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! I'm on it. <laughs> I just sensed something. I'm on.
just sensed something. I'm on it. Rico. That's right. I forgot all about this. What is it, Reg? I just remembered finding this in my back pocket. What's this? An envelope? Well, go ahead and take a look inside. Oh. This... this is... my mother's sealed letter! Reg, did you steal this? Nope. Take a closer look. The pages we saw last time were tattered. So this is probably just a copy, right? You're right. Huh. But why? I didn't have the opportunity to bring it up, but before we left the orphanage... Reg, where are you going? To... to the bathroom. What are you doing up in the middle of the night yourself, leader? I'm on patrol, you fool. I do this every night after you all fall asleep. Speaking of which... Any idea where Rico is? She doesn't seem to be in her room. Rico went to take a dump. In the middle of the night? She has the runs. She's scavenging for food again? Jeez, that girl. <sighs> You're on your way to the bathroom too, right? Stay with her and make sure she's okay. Roger. That's what happened. At the time, I thought I really had him fooled. But then, I found that thing in my back pocket. And I think he is pretty much the only one who could have done it. Leader, I wonder if he's cheering us- Hmm? I think that might be it. It doesn't seem right. Huh? One page is a different size than the others. <laughs> what happened, Rico? I'll depart at dawn to capture you. Wow. Did Leader write- There are- Pursuers coming for us already. Pursuers? Yes, there's no doubt. In that case, we're in trouble. Hurry, we've got to get going, Reg! Go hide any traces of the campfire! I'll make sure we're not leaving anything behind! I'm on it. Are you ready? Of course, besides, if we make it to the second layer, no one will come after us. At least that's what Shiggy... But why would Leader warn us in the first place? <laughs> He must be testing us. This is like our final exam, you know? The point is that if we get caught now, then we're not cut out to make it to the bottom of the nether- I see. Roger. Let's go! Our hey, Rico. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Just I, sense something. I, 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 I'm on. I. Oh, I just sense something. <gasps> oh. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? What is that sticky thing, Rico? Greg, behind you. It's a silk thing. What do we do? 
do? Do we fight it here? No! I have a plan! Run to that edge! Rico, we're here! Wrap your arms around the silk thing! Yeah, we got through. Let's keep on moving, Reg! <sighs> Rico, are you okay? <sighs> She's not used to this, so I bet it's draining her stamina. It's her first time this deep, and we're on an unmarked path. What is it, Reg? Uh, it's nothing. Seems our pursuers still haven't caught up with- We've strayed away from the usual route, so even if they come after us, they won't find us that easily. Besides, the search party is moving groups of at least three people, so we should see them coming. In that case, Rico, let's take a little- What? But... I doubt they can catch up to us that fat, and plus, I need to pee any- Ah, well then, I will too. Hey, Rico, I was thinking about the delusion you had about the meaning of the letter. You mean about this being our final exam? It's no delusion! Yeah, I think you might be right. Just maybe he was able to see through us and uncover our nightly plotting. He may even know the fact that I'm a robot. Ugh. On top of that, if he took the trouble to place that envelope in my pocket, then we need to make a clean escape and show him we're up to the task. Yep! Oh. I just sensed something. What's the matter, Rake? They're right above us. Mm. When did they catch up to us? It's just one person. Can we slip? <gasps> I'd expect nothing less from Liza's daughter. I see you're quite fast. Rico, how about that? I'm not so shabby myself, now am I? Uncle Hobbo? Black Whistle Hebulk. He's this skilled and not even a white whistle? What should I do? I could let Rico escape. That being said, Reg, well, I never suspected it. That you were a supreme treasure of the Netherworld, I mean. Hey, let's take a good look. No, let me feel you. Huh? Is even your skin a relic? Can't tell just by looking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I still haven't told you what I'm here about. You see, I didn't actually come to capture you two. Huh? Please! We're not asking you to take them all the way to Seeker Camp. Just help them escape to the second lake. Besides, this is your last chance to see the true form of a supreme treasure of the Netherworld. Even White Whistles are unlikely to find one of those. Reg is really fast. But with your speed, I'm sure you can catch up to them, Uncle Habo. Okay. So, you see, I came to pay my respects to this supreme treasure of the Netherworld. <laughs> and she said that? I wish paying your respects was the only thing you did. <laughs> By the way, the search party was looking for you by the Twisted Crag. They should take a while still. Thank goodness. Well then, I've had a look at the treasure of the Netherworld, so I'd better fulfill my promise to those... I'm coming along with you to the Seeker... Really? You bet. It'll be reassuring to have a Black Whistle with us. Right, Rico? Uh, Uncle Hubble? Oh? What? I'm sorry. I can't allow that! Eh? You've got to be... Oh, I see. A final exam, huh? Pretty clever of him. Well, if that's the case, there's nothing I can do, is there? But he really should have come himself to see you off one last time. Ah, but that wouldn't work, because he'd catch you right away then, huh? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle Habo. I mean, you came all this way and everything. Don't worry about it. But, since I won't be accompanying you any farther, I should tell you this now. This is very important. It's about that seeker camp you're headed for. The guardian there is a bit of a strange one. You mean the person who found my mom's sealed envelope? Yes. The unmovable sovereign, Ozen the Immovable. A white whistle who's still active. Rico, after you were born in the depths of the abyss, she's the one who carried you within the curse-repelling vessel. She brought you to the surface along with Liza. The white whistle and the very one who saved my life? Wow! But Habog, that doesn't seem like anything to be too worried about. <clears throat> Please be wary of White Whistle Ozen. I can't get into the details personally, but you might encounter distressing things at Seeker Camp. I'll be fine. Plus, I'd like to meet a White Whistle. I want to ask her about my mom, too. You're right. You'll be fine. You have an encouraging partner with you, Greg. Take care of Rico. Roger. Just leave it. Well, then we're heading out now, Uncle Habo. All right, off you go. Don't dawdle. Otherwise, I'll become a white whistle and catch up to you, you know. Okay. Please give our best to Auntie. In the end, we're just the Netherworld's lost children. Sooner or later, I knew this day would come. Take care, Rico. <laughs> I just sensed something. I, I. Oh. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! I... I... I'm on it. I... I... Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! I just sensed something. Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! Oh. Hey, Rico. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! Greg! Over there! It's a wind riding window! Oh, what's that? Updrafts a long time ago. I hear they've been around for more than 4,000 years. They've done well to last so long. And the fact that we've passed them means... So this is the second layer. We made it to the Forest of Temptation! We did it, Reg! We passed the final exam! Is that so? Sure is! Leader, we pulled it off! Mm. It hasn't quite hit me yet. Did we really get away from them? Sure did! We don't have to worry about anyone coming after us! If we descend this far, no one will come after us. Because both getting here and returning home are very difficult. I'm quite sure that's what Shiggy said. In other words, down here, even a search party would find itself being pursued. We haven't escaped at all, have we? 
Now we're being pursued by all kinds of things that exist outside the world of man. Let's hurry, Rake! They might be going for help! Understood. Our destination is Seeker Camp, located at the end of the second layer. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! I'll drive that thing away. I'm on. What do we do? Do we fight it here? I'm on. I just sense something. I'm on. <laughs> what was that? What do we do? Do we fight it here? I'm on. What do we do? Do we fight it here? I'm on. I just sensed something. I'll drive that thing away. I just sensed something. I'll drive that thing away. Yeah, I'm on. No, everything is okay. I just sense... What do we do? Do we fight it here? Oh. I'll drive that thing away. What do we do? Do we fight it here? I just sensed something. I'm on. Thank <laughs> you. 
was that? I'm on. Rico! I'm on. What do we do? What was that? What's wrong, Reg? Quiet, Rico. There's somebody here. I hear it! Where is it coming from? Over there! Someone's crying for help! Down on the ground there! It's a cave raider! I'll drive that thing away! Reg, wait! Don't go! It might be a trap! That thing's a corpse sweeper. They mimic their captured prey's cries for help! Anyway... They do that to lure more prey to their colonies, which means that person's already... Irredeemable. Yeah! Oh no, they're coming! Let's run, Reg! Reg, get down! <laughs> Rico! More of them are gathering up? How careless of me! Rico! There's going to be... No! Don't do it! What... What can I possibly do? What is this feeling? My body remembers. I've done something like this before. Thank goodness, she's okay, but if that thing had hit Rico, just what, what in the world am I? Was I... passed out? Rico... Rico, are you... Oh, Reg, you're up! Hey, so... are you alright? No matter what I did, you wouldn't wake up! I am fine. Rather than that, Rico, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, thank you, Reg. I slightly remember that you saved me. And that crazy light was shot by you, right? Yeah. I kind of lost myself in the moment. Hey, so it did come out of your hand, right? I wonder what we should call it. How about the incinerator? Uh, Rico, I'm not really in the mood for this. I almost blew you away, too. If that had happened, I... Hey, it's alright. There are gonna be more difficult opponents, you know. We should think of it as a huge power on our side to fight our foes. So? Let's train together and master this power! Oh, understood. Hmm. Maybe you couldn't wake up because you were too tired from firing your incinerator. That might be it. I have to be really careful when I use this. Now, let's get going. We just got to the Forest of Temptation. Let's head to Seeker Camp. This is... Roger, just leave it to me.
Yes. We got through. No, everything is okay. Thank you.